Hi, my name is Josh Kirstein. And I'm Parker Malloy. Today we're going to show you how to test the hydrants pressures. First things first, we're going to go into safety. Before we begin flushing the hydrants and testing the pressures of the hydrants, we want to make sure that all the firefighters that are going to be involved in this have adequate safety precautions. So as you can see here, Parker's got his helmet, his glasses, his gloves, and his boots on. And he's going to be using all those to safely test the hydrants. All right, for our next step, we're gonna flush the hydrant. And while we're gonna do that, Parker's gonna pull the LDH front off. We're gonna make sure that both the sides are tight. We don't want one of them shooting off while we're flushing our hydrant. Make sure there's nothing on the inside. He stuck his hydrant wrench on the top so he doesn't lose it. He's going to spin it counterclockwise until we get a pretty steady flow. Flushing most of the stuff that's been built up on the inside of the stem. We're going to let it run for a few seconds to make sure we get everything out for our test. This is a very important step whenever we're testing hydrants. We just want to make sure that there's no, there's nothing that could restrict the flow and we can have accurate readings. We don't want to damage any of our equipment with dirt and mud and stuff that can be caught up in these hydrants. A lot of times, especially since they haven't been used very frequently, if not at all, since they've been installed. All right, so now Firefighter Malloy is gonna flush this hydrant too, just to make sure that we get everything out of it same way as before. This hydrant has obviously been used a little bit more than the hydrant down there due to the not all the gunk and nasty stuff coming out of it. Here we have our static pressure gauge with a side two and a half outlet fire hydrant and what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to attach it now this gauge has a bleeder at the end which we're going to make sure is closed so that the water doesn't trickle out once we start examining the pressure and at the bottom, we've got our pressure gauge, which we're gonna monitor, and we're gonna see it jump up substantially once we turn the hydrant on. So Parker, go ahead and turn the hydrant on. You're gonna want, yeah. So what we did right at the beginning was we opened up the bleeder and we just want to make sure that it's just water and we get all the air out to make sure that we have a static pressure. So right now this one's showing us 100 pounds per square inch. Now we've got the pressure on this gauge and this hydrant is still charged. We've got Firefighter Malloy and Firefighter Thornburg just went down to the hydrant that's down the chain. And what they're going to do is they're going to open that one up and we're going to see how much the pressure drops. He's opening it up and you can see the pressure is starting to variate a little bit.
And now if you look downstream, you can see he's got his hydrant almost all the way open. In fact, now it is all the way open. And we've dropped already almost 20 PSI from 100 just about to 80. 82 approximately to be exact. But uh, that just goes to show you how much pressure loss you can get just from operating off of one other separate hydrant. And now that we've got the initial static and residual pressures from this pitot gauge on this hydrant, Parker just cut the hydrant off and what we're going to do is we're going to switch it out to the hose pitot and we're going to do another test. He's going to bleed off the air by unscrewing the end plug. right off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this hose monster up to this hydrant to get another pitot reading with this. If you look down to the end of this hose, you've got a pitot that's on the coupling at the end and it's got two exits on the sides where the water will discharge once we're bleeding it off. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this in. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight so we don't have any leaks. And Parker's going to go ahead and turn it on. So now, the hydrant's fully charged. We've got the water flowing out through the side. We've got a pitot reading that he's filming. And it's exiting off both sides. This was a little bit different because we have to actually flow water to get this reading. The other one is just to screw on and we can get the pressure like that. But, as long as you don't mind getting a little wet, this one's not half bad. Let's see how accurate this reading is. Hey, I'm Parker Malloy. Uh, I'm with Team Rad Rod, and I am group member number one. All right, I'm Clay Thornburg, and I'm with Team Ram Rod, and I was a video camera man. Curry Jones, the Eastern Kentucky University. Josh Kirstein, lead actor, Ball So Hard University. <laughs> Got <it. laughs> I'm Bird Dog, and we're gonna mow down the competition. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Now that we've got this two and a half inch side outlet off this hydrant, we just figured the static and residual pressures from the other side, but we've got this hose monster here, which also had a, has a pedo reading hey, on it. It says and it's 20 pounds of pressure right now. Apparently it's broken because it says there's 20 pounds. <laughs> 20 pounds per square inch in the hose right now, which is not a good thing. But uh, we're gonna make it do as best as we can. So, <laughs> with that, uh, we're gonna <laughs> cut.